Yes. Now, Chief Administrative Secretary for ICT, Dennis Itumi, has accused the prosecution of delaying the completion of a case in which he is charged with spreading a fake letter claiming there was a plot to assassinate President William Ruto when he was Deputy President. Itumbi was set to defend himself in the case, but the state prosecutor could not proceed with the matter, citing lack of the police file in court. Trial Magistrate Susan Shitubi urged the defense to give the prosecution one more chance and set the hearing for 28th of July, of course, this year. CS Dennis Situmbi and his co accused Samuel Gateri appeared before trial magistrate Susan Shitubi on Wednesday, ready for the hearing of his case of spreading a fake letter claiming there was a plot to assassinate the then Deputy President William Ruto. The trial will go to almost uh, towards the end of the year because now, uh, going by her submissions, the file will not be accessed this week, will not be accessed. She's addressing through his lawyer Adrian Kamodo, Itumbi blamed the prosecution for applying to adjourn the case, terming it a tactic by the state to delay his case on allegation that there was no police file in the court. She is present without a file, the defense is ready on its part. If the prosecution wishes to proceed without a file, it should not be an issue that would affect the rights of the accused. You know, this is a court of justice. We also don't just force. Let's give her time. Itumbi said it was an infringement of his rights to a fair trial. Itumbi and Gateri are accused of publishing the letter dated May 30th, 2019, with the intention of causing public anxiety. Elsewhere, a woman has been sentenced to one year community service after she was convicted of trafficking bang worth 63,930 shillings on 17th October 2019. Amina Abdi and her husband Francis Mwenda, who is on the run, have been sentenced to one year probation and two year jail term respectively. So taking all these factors into account, I will uh, sentence the accused person to one year for any service. Trial Magistrate Bernard Ochoi, however, ruled that Amina was suitable for non-custodial sentence. She is a first-time offender and has a young toddler. Ruth Huambo for Prime Edition.